Okay, in this quick video, we're gonna talk about views in your Laravel application. And as I already said, the views are stored inside of your resources views folder. And we've actually been modifying a view called welcome.blade.php. And you may be wondering about this .blade.php and that is considered a blade template file that we'll actually cover more in the next video. But for now, I just wanted to show you that I could actually rename this welcome.blade.php to just be welcome.php. So sure enough, if I were to go here and just rename that, and we go back to our application and reload, we're gonna get the exact same output. So you can still use traditional PHP, like we have these for each loops, and then we open up PHP and echo out the customer name. So you can still use all of this inside of your application if you choose. But instead, using Laravel, there is something new called blade templating that allows you to create a lot of these shorthands for looping through PHP objects or printing things out on the screen. So that's actually what we'll be jumping to in the next video. But for now, I think I'm just going to rename this view to be a little bit more fitting and just call this home. So I'm going to name this home.php. And then back in our app, HTTP controllers and our customer controller up here with the return view, I actually need to change this to be home. And then we also have this form.blade.php. I'm just gonna go ahead and remove that. And just to make sure everything is working correctly, let's go back and reload. And sure enough, we're getting the same output on the page. So I just wanted to show you in this video that you can use standard.php files. You don't have to step out of anything more if you don't want to, but I don't know why you wouldn't take advantage of Blade if you are using Laravel. And we'll go ahead and cover Blade templating in the next video, and you'll see all the cool stuff that we can do with Blade templating. Hey, thanks for checking out this video series on Laravel 7 Basics. I just wanted to say thanks for watching this series, and I also wanted to ask you to give me a follow on Twitter, at T-N-Y-L-E-A. I also wanted to take just a second and let you know about one of my courses that I created called SAS Adventure. And you can visit it at sasadventure.io. And this is a 21-day program that will teach you how to create your own software as a service using the Laravel framework. So if you want to support me, go ahead and uh, check out my course at sasadventure.io. And I will see you in the next video.